Welcome everyone. So yes, a lot of people thought that the answer for this one was 24. The reason being they did everything under the rule. So minus 9, minus 9 into minus 64. Okay. And that basically gets you what? Root of 576. Because negative into negative is positive. That is, that's what we have been taught till now. And that is why they thought that the root of a negative, uh, root of a positive number will always be positive. Okay. But that is incorrect, sadly, for negative sign under a root. Okay. So now let's quickly understand where did we go wrong. Okay. For that, you need to remember that root of negative 1 is taken as what i. Okay. So now instead of this 9, we'll write this as what 9 into root of negative 1 into the 64, we'll write it as it is into root of <coughs> negative 1. Okay, so now this becomes what? Root of 9 is what? 3. Now please understand, root of a positive number will always be positive. Okay, please understand if, if at all we had something like this, x square equals to 25. Then value of x comes out to be plus or minus y. Why? Because when you have a variable, Okay, in that case, the plus minus sign comes into picture. But here, if you look closely, you just have a positive number under a root as of now. Okay, so that root of a positive number will always be a positive value. And now we know that root of negative 1 is what i. Okay, into root of 64 is what 8 into negative 1, root of negative 1 is again i. So this gets you basically 24. i into i gets you i square. So now here, see if I want to find the value of i square, I will square both sides and minus 1 under a root and then it is square. Right? So therefore, I can say value of i comes out to be i square, comes out to be negative 1. So this becomes 24 into minus 1. So final answer for this one becomes minus 24. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.